Welcome to this course on beginning Python. We're going to be covering uh, Python in 12 steps. Where each lesson is going to take 15 to 20 minutes for a total of about two to three hours. We're going to be working through exercises, especially later in the course, with the temperature control app device. And I'll give you just a brief overview of that. Uh, it helps to be able to have a project in mind when you start programming. So when you learn the individual pieces, you can see how all of them fit together. And we're going to be using the temperature control lab to design an egg incubator uh, temperature regulator. This is the very first one. If you'd like to get the other lessons, uh, just come here to github.com. And I'll put this link in the video, uh, below the video, where you can go to GitHub and get all of the files. These are IPython notebook files that we're going to be running through. Now the easiest way to get these is to come here with clone or download and it gives you a couple options. You can either clone it from this link or you can go to download zip. So I'm just going to select download zip and then it's going to put this uh, either in your downloads folder or in my case, I select it to download to my desktop. And then I'll right click it and select Extract All. And that will extract it to my desktop. This folder, I can delete the zip file after that's extracted. And if I come in here, I can just rename this to something like Begin Python. And I'll just transfer that back onto my desktop so it isn't a nested folder and delete this master one. All right, so right in here are all the IPython notebook files. And you'll see, if you don't have Jupyter Notebook, you can't open these. You can't just double click these. You could open them with a edit, OK? But it doesn't um, make much sense. So we want to be able to use something that can edit these files. And so we're going to get the, we're going to get Anaconda which includes the Jupyter Notebook and the IPython Notebook Editor. So if you come to the internet browser and you go to Anaconda Download, then you're going to see a link for Anaconda Distribution. And go ahead and select that and then click Download here. That's going to bring you uh, to this where you can download the latest version of Python. I do recommend the 64-bit. If you just select this button, it'll give it to you automatically. It's about a half a gigabyte uh, large, so it might take a little while to download, depending on your internet connection speed. And if you have other uh, Python distributions, I'd recommend uninstalling those first. Uh, so you can do that just by going to Programs, okay, add or remove programs, and just look for any uh, Python versions that are there already. All right, so here are some Python versions. You just want to select uninstall on each of these, and uh, you may have another Anaconda distribution as well. Uh, so if you just go to, let's see if I can find it. OK, there's an Anaconda distribution. Just go ahead and select Uninstall on all of these, just to be able to have just one version of Python. OK, and then after you get this installer, uh, you go ahead and just double click that. All right, it's going to bring up uh, this window. You select Next, I agree, and just install for just me. And you can leave the destination folder alone. Once you select Next, it'll install it for you. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to select Next. Uh, but it'll take a minute or two to install all of those files for you. Now, once that's installed, you can delete this executable. And then come here to the Start window and go to Anaconda Navigator. So I'm going to search for ANA and then Conda. And then select this Navigator. So this is one way to start Jupyter Notebook, but there's another way as well that's a little bit faster. 
All right, uh, I'll let this just start up just to show you what it looks like. Um, it's going to come up with Jupyter Notebook, and then I can select Launch. Okay, the other way that's a, just a little bit faster is Jupyter Notebook. And then you can come here, and you can say Pin to Taskbar. All right, so if you want to start it again, uh, Jupiter is spelled not like the planet, but it has a Y in there, so it's a little bit different. And then if you want to start it in the future, you can just select this link, and then it's going to start up the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, it's just going to open it in your default web browser, and I'm going to go to Desktop, Begin Python, and here are all of my files that I had. Now this one's going to be the introduction that we're covering today. And it gives an introduction on the course and what you need to do to get started. All right, don't close this window right here. If you do, Python is going to stop working. So don't select the red X. Select the minimize here just to put it out of the way. That's your Python kernel, the thing that's actually running Python, not the web browser. Okay, a couple other things that you're going to need uh, for the course. Um, I'll include these as links down below. Just come to apmonitor.com slash heat dot htm. And that's going to bring you to the temperature control lab page. And here you can select the link to get this on Amazon. You'll need this hardware. And you can get it on Amazon. Professors or others who are teaching the class can get it as a bulk order, or there are other options as well. So it's widely available. Um, over 3,000 of these have been made and distributed. OK, um, let me come back here uh, to the course. OK, so here is the GitHub repository that we just talked about with all of the files. And you'll see in here we have 12 different lessons. These are intended to help you start from almost zero information about Python. And there are going to be tutorial videos on each of these as well. So if you're getting stuck, you can go to those videos and see the solutions. In the end, you'll be able to do also this final project, where we're going to be designing the temperature control for an egg incubator using the temperature control lab as this simulated egg incubator. Okay, just a little bit more about the course. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's intended for those with little or no programming experience. And there's going to be video tutorials for each exercise if you have questions along the way. One of the unique things about this course, as opposed to other online courses, is that you actually have a physical device that you can work with. So as you're programming Python, you can see things change next to you. The heater is going to turn on. You're going to be able to turn on an LED light. Uh, and then you're going to be able to read temperatures as well. So it's just like the thermostat in your home or office, where the thermostat is the controller that's adjusting the heating and, or air conditioning. Also, one of the best ways to start a new language is to work on a simple project. Uh, and so all 12 of these are going to help you with that final project. You're going to be able to do loops or function calls or assign variables or create a plot. And all of those are going to be important to help you be able to complete the project. Now temperature control in particular, as I mentioned, is for home or office, HVAC. You have manufacturing processes, transportation, or life sciences. Even our bodies regulate temperature to a specific set point. Now, this project, we're going to be using the temperature control lab to control temperature. And we even have a little bit of thermochromic paint on the temperature control lab that changes color with temperature. It's going to change from black to purple when it reaches the target temperature of 37 degrees or 99 degrees Fahrenheit. It's good to begin with the end in mind. So let me just discuss the final project a little bit. We're going to be designing this temperature controller for an egg incubator. And we want to maintain the temperature 
at this point where the paint turns from black to purple, which is 37 degrees Celsius, you know, we want to display the heater level with an LED indicator. So if we turn the heater on to 50%, we want to turn the LED on to 50%. So we have some visual indication of what the heater is doing. And we'll also create a plot of the temperature and heater values over a 10-minute evaluation period. So we're going to be looking at about 10 minutes to say how well did it uh, control the temperature. All right, these 12 lessons are going to help you uh, with the objective of designing the temperature controller. I'm going to go over in just a little bit more detail on, on some of these lessons, the overall course overview. We're going to start, uh, in fact, with the overview and then go on to debugging, how to find errors in our code and fix those, uh, talk about variables and how to assign variables and the different types of variables. We'll do printing as well, uh, how to be able to display things to the screen where we combine numbers and variables uh, and strings in different ways. Uh, we'll talk about classes and objects, uh, functions, loops, input uh, from the user, or also we can input from a file as well. Uh, we'll have if statements, conditional statements, uh, lists and tuples, dictionaries, and plotting. So some of these you may not have even heard of before. You know, what is a tuple, for example? Or what would be a dictionary in terms of a Python? terms of Python programming. We'll cover all of those with very simple examples and then reinforce them along the way with temperature control lab exercises as well. Okay, so uh, that's it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoy the course and also special thanks to Eric for designing the course. Uh, you can also get um, give us feedback or also uh, get support at support at uh, apmonitor.com. Uh, okay, so if you need any support with the project uh, or the lab, getting it to run, uh, feel free to reach out to us or uh, go ahead and put a comment in the video below. And we're typically pretty good about uh, getting back to you uh, quickly just to be able to help you along so you don't get stuck especially when you're beginning you're going to have these uh, little things that are going to get in the way of progress and um, you know feel free to reach out to be able to help uh, have us help you uh, get through those initial uh, phases of just getting started